Hello, welcome to In Studio. In a recent live stream, myself and fellow photographer Rick Bradbury uh, did a photo critique on a woodland scene which was submitted to us by photographer Gary Platt. <music> Here is a, a lovely sort of misty uh, image uh, in um, woodland with uh, a figure in the distance. So looking at the EXIF data on it, um, what we've got uh, is it's 50th of a second f2.8. Uh, now that did surprise me when I saw that, uh, first of all. Uh, unfortunately, although I know you provided the um, XMP file with it, it's not. I've not been able to see what Lightroom settings you've used on there. It's not quite come through right. Uh, that might have been my way of describing how you should uh, present it. But let's just sort of look at the at the settings first of all. Um, fixed focal length lens by the looks of it. Um, I really like the atmosphere on this. Uh, I'm just going to so forgive the noise, folks. I'm just going to stand up and actually get a different angle on the screen because all I can yeah. see is a reflection of your background chains at the moment. Ah, uh, right. <laughs> Glossy screens. Oh, there we go. I can see it now. Right. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Boom. nice. You're not on camera anyway. Uh, moment, well, that's okay. Yeah. Uh, nice it, and mysterious. It is. Mm. Um, I don't. I, I'm not going to try and put it on the other monitor. Uh, right. Yeah. It's uh, it's a nice image. Now the prop. The, the one thing that surprised me, as I said, was that it was shot at f 2.8 because that's a very shallow depth of field for an image. I think I know why. Yeah. Um, would I be correct? And and do tell us in the chat, which we'll flip back to shortly, mm -hmm. Gary. Um, was it handheld? Uh, I get the feeling you weren't locked on a tripod, but it's more mm. a handheld shot because uh, you're shooting shutter priority. Mm. There's a minus EV compensation dialed in because uh, it's looking at quite a dark scene. Um, so you've shot it around the 50th, which is pretty close to your focal length. Yeah. You, know, you can go to there, especially That's with fine. an image stabilized lens if you had one, I don't know. Um, so I think it's, it's more on really... Sony, it's probably um, um, in camera stabilization yeah, with that. Um, maybe it was a handheld shot. Mm. Um, I mean, it's, I really do like it, actually. Very yeah. mysterious. Uh, I mean, the, uh, the reason I was saying about the depth of field on it is I was thinking, oh, that's not going to work. And then I started thinking about it. In actual fact, the, the subject, the person in there who's uh, in the distance, they're going to be slightly foggy anyway because mm. of the nature of the scene. Yeah. When I zoom in, if this, yeah. Oop, Oops. You, um, you clearly focused somewhere quite close to let's bring us back into the the scene uh, you've um yeah you've focused somewhere on the trees which is absolutely fine yeah. so that that mid-ground is is perfectly in focus i like that the fact that the the subject goes slightly soft in the distance actually works because of the fog with it i think it marries well with yeah. the the foreground of the shot whilst most of what's happening in the mm. shot is mid-round to the person in the fog mm. that foreground being able to focus and somewhat soft as a result marries well with it yeah. because you've got an overall ethereal kind of softer feeling mm. um with the fog and through the tones in the image as well so it yeah, works really well absolutely what do you think about putting the the subject bang in the middle on that um, let me have a look. So I've got, I've got to stand up yeah. to see it. Um, angle on a glossy screen. This is what you get. Right. Um, so I'll turn it around a little bit for you. Yes. There we go. Um, I don't mind it at all. It leads you through. Yeah. It's as if, for me, it tells a bit of a story. It's as if you're walking behind them. Mm. I mean, you could go anywhere with this story. Are you following them and you shouldn't be? Or are you following them because they've done something that they shouldn't have done, but you're, it's leading you through um, you know, to follow them? Um, so you could go anywhere with this really yeah i mean it is one of those and it's uh, there's certain cinema and composition things where actually the lead in lines where everything leads into the middle is uh, is quite a powerful um uh, technique yeah but one thing to experiment with with this type of shot is a slightly different framing now i'm going to show it as a crop but i would actually suggest this is done in camera rather than in post-production so let me zoom the whole thing back to full screen. Yep, we've got there. Okay. And if I go to the right mode on it, there we go. Get rid of the side panels. 
the uh, the laptop is taking a little while to cope with everything that's running on here at the moment uh, so what I wonder is if we bring up a little bit at the bottom and in on one of the sides um, the idea being that your leading line comes more on the diagonal. Now, again, was, because I'm cropping it rather than doing it by moving the camera, it's not going to be it's not going to be perfectly as it should be. No. But that that sort of idea, um, I think I've probably cropped a little bit too much off at the bottom there. Oh, that's strange. Oh, I know what it is. It's fill not fit. That's why. So, come out of there, lose that panel. Yeah, that sort of thing where it's slightly offset, I, I think still works because I'm not sure that the trees on the left hand side were adding that much. I think what we've kept there is the the more mysterious parts of it where there's more texture. Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, that's the, the most important part, yeah, think, within it, and certainly um, the stronger parts with of it, it. Is, yeah. Um, so uh, so I would say something like that. What I also like about this one, Gary, is the, um, uh, the toning effect on it. Mm, it and I think well. that's worked really well uh, it, it, with it. I'm going to stand up and have a look. <laughs> I even know I'm not on camera yet. But, uh, yes, you are. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah, okay. you're on Hi, camera. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I switched um, his back. Again, I'm doing this for reflections on the screen. But uh, yeah, that works yeah. as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down here so you'll get notified of future videos. Up here is a playlist of videos similar to this one, and here's one specific video that I think you will like, whereas down here is one that YouTube thinks you'll like. Until next time, keep making great photos. Bye for now.